Hey, what's going on guys, Zach Crawford here. And in this video, we're gonna talk about how to escape the rat race by creating passive income. So what I'm doing this video for is a lot of people in my Facebook group um, and also people that send me private messages always wanna know, Zach, what's, what's the best business model? Is it Shopify, is it Amazon FBA, is it affiliate marketing, is it cryptocurrency? You know, I've heard it all, right? And and the reason they're asking this is is they want to get out of their job. Like they just terribly want to get out of their job. And I, I can I can resonate because I was there like six years ago, right? And my answer is always the same, creating passive income. And the reason I say this, I learned this from Robert Kiyosaki. If you've not read any of his books, you know, Rich Dad, Poor Dad, Cash Flow Quadrant, that's what I'm talking about here. And I'm gonna I'm gonna give you examples of the online business um, of, of how to do this. So there's four different quadrants, right? Number one is of course working for somebody else. You're, you're in a job. Um, your time is traded for dollars, right? Number two is you have your own um, business, so to speak, but you're not really owning a business. We'll talk about that in a minute. But basically you're self-employed. You you don't have somebody telling you what to do, but basically you, you kind of created a job for yourself. You're working in the business. Number three is actually running a business, meaning you, may, you have employees, you have systems in place, and you're not physically, only your income is, is tied to active income. We're going to talk about that in a minute. Active income is basically where you're working and you get paid now, but if you stop working, then at that point, you, you don't get paid. And then the fourth one is basically passive income stream, stuff like real estate and whatnot. But I'm going to relate this to the online business model, share with you how I went from being stuck not necessarily in the rat race because I already quit my job, but freeing myself um, to the point where I don't have worries. I'm not stressed out. How income is going to come in? You know, can I make different business decisions? Am I able to travel and still make money? But this applies even if you have a job and you're trying to get out of the rat race. So before we jump in, if you're new to the channel, make sure to go below, hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell so you get notified when I create videos, and comment below and I'll welcome you to the channel. So first thing I wanna talk about is active income and passive income, because this is something that I didn't really quite realize when I first got into what we would call creating a business, right? Creating a lifestyle that I was aiming for. When I first started, I was doing active income, and that basically means where the only time you make money is when you're actively working, right? If you take a vacation, you try to go do something else, you you get sick and you can't work, your income drops, it tanks. And that's what I was doing in the beginning. See, I thought I was a business owner, but really I wasn't. My One of my first businesses was basically doing marketing services for offline business owners and online business owners. And I told myself, I'm the boss, right? But really, um, I still kind of was, was an employee because I was working for other people. And at the same time, if I stopped working, I stopped making income. It wasn't it wasn't an actual asset. Um, it was it was something that I continually had to grind in order to to get paid. It was kind of kind of like a job. And then I learned about this whole like you know freeing myself with passive income from Robert Kiyosaki, and I started switching my mindset right. And and eventually I ended up outsourcing a lot of this stuff, which even to this day I still have that business, but I don't do any of the work. I don't do any of the website stuff. I don't I don't talk to any of the clients for the most part. Uh, it pretty much just runs passively. And then when I started focusing on this in the online thing, that's when my, my life uh, really become fun, right? So I wanna talk about how this works and how you can apply this and what you should be focusing on. It, I don't really care what business model you do, but you wanna be focusing on passive income if you wanna get out of the rat race. That's gonna free you completely. So passive income is is basically like, like where you, you, you are not tied to the business, right? You can go on a vacation, you can go to the gym, you can go do things you enjoy, you can hang out with your kids, you can get sick and, and not be able to work for two weeks, but you still get paid. And that's what I focused on, right? Now, I personally did that with content marketing. Um, and basically what I mean by that, that's stuff like a YouTube channel um, and, and a blog. Now, in the old days, I had like 20 different channels, like doing a lot of product reviews and, and all different industries. Now I'm focusing on building this channel, but I've been doing content marketing for years. And in the beginning, I did a blog just because I was scared of video. The thought of doing videos was just like, ugh, it's terrifying. And so I still to this day have blog posts that I did like over three and a half years ago that still bring in traffic, that still get me paid, every single month. I did the work once and I get paid. And that's what I focus on to this day. Like like the most highest leverage activity of what I could do is creating a piece of content, whether it's for YouTube or it's for my blog. Now, if I talked about active income and passive income, an example of active income, like for instance, if you're doing anything with social media, like say Facebook, you post something and even though you may be able to get some sales right now, it's going to go away. Like probably by the end of the day, people probably won't see it anymore. Even if you did like a viral video, people will see it for a little bit, but then eventually it just disappear into like the abyss compared to like YouTube. Say you create a video today, 
like six months from now, somebody could still find that video and you're still getting paid. Like all the videos I, I used to do on product reviews that I talked about, like people would find them six months, 12 months, 18 months down the line. And I was still getting commissions, right? It was because of the fact that I did the work, it built momentum and I got paid. Now I want to preface, if you go into this business model and you focus on this, like you're not going to be a millionaire overnight, right? Like I do think it's realistic to honestly get to probably like say $5,000 a month within three months. If you really focus on what you're doing and you don't get distracted over here and get distracted over here, I think you can get to a thousand dollars a day in about six months. And then from there you can keep compounding it. You know, yesterday I actually did a video on sales funnels, which is the second part of this, which I showed where, you know, I have one income stream they made me $36,000 last month and I didn't do any work. Like, and, and this probably sounds crazy, right? But what I mean is I didn't do any work that month in order to get it. I did the work like literally over a year ago and I put the content out there. Now the content is, is going to work for me. It's digging ditches, right? And it's sending people through the sales funnel, which is sales funnel is the modern day sales process, right? In the old days, I had to sit here and I talked to you across the table and I tried to convince you why you should buy my thing. Now we can do this online with a system that walks and it's automated completely. You know, that real passive income, um, it literally walks people through the steps and does the sales for me. So I created the content over a year ago and now I it's consistently bringing me in sales month after month. I don't do anything for it. And that's just one income stream. That is how you want to build your business. That's how you want to build your life. Now, if I go back to even like my offline business, right? Well, it's not technically offline business, but I cater to offline businesses. I don't do any of the work anymore. Like in the beginning, I was like talking to the clients. I was doing, you know, I wasn't doing all the work. I was doing stuff like search engine optimization where I actually, you know, help the, the websites rank. Um, I was communicating with the people that would do the websites. But honestly, I was working more hours than I worked in my job. It was a mess. It was a six figure business, but it was like, man, this sucks. Like it really sucks. Eventually, after I started learning this whole passive income thing, I switched and realized like, man, I need to find other people that can do the work for me. I take a little bit of a pay cut, but it buys back my time and your time is so much more valuable. When I bought back my time, guess what? Now I had time to focus on my online business. Now I got to the point where I basically could focus on doing my online endeavors and I could focus on creating that content that put that stuff in place. And then it just got bigger and got bigger and got bigger to the point where now, if I want to go on a vacation, if I want to go to a marketing event, if I want to go hang out with my friends, if I want to ride my motorcycle, if I just get sick for two weeks, I'm not going to be stressing out. How am I going to pay the bills? I'm not going to be stressing out. How am I going to pay my employees? I'm not going to be stressing out, you know, is money coming in? And so if you want to get out of the rat race and, and you want to get to the point where where you have freedom and you can actually think you have thinking time, which is very, very important. You want to focus on passive income, not active income, because a lot of people, they're doing things like example, like Shopify, right? And Shopify, I'm not trying to hate on the business model, but I don't really like business models that are active income for the most part. And the reason being is I'm focused on building long-term assets, just like, you know, stuff like real estate. So for example, with like drop shipping, you're running Facebook ads, you're going to get some sales, but if you turn those ads off, bam, your income disappears, right? And everything I think about is long-term. You want to play the long-term game because when you're just doing short-term things, income streams can dry up. Compared to when you build things like this, you put assets in place, your business keeps growing, you keep getting paid, and you're not physically having to do the work. Just like I said, I'm putting out content now. It's going to get me paid six months in the future because people can still find my videos. They can still find my content out there on my blog. And I, I did it once. I worked once and keep getting paid. Now I'm at the point where I'm thinking about the second phase of passive income, which is stuff like, you know, real estate and mutual funds and stocks and, and investments, right? But that's not something I, I think that the average person should get in right away because it, it takes up your liquid cash. It builds up over the future. It's a very good investment. But in the early stages, I treat my content marketing just like real estate just like stocks. I'm, I'm investing into my portfolio, but my online portfolio, right? Every single piece of content that I put out there is like digital real estate, but the difference is I get paid way sooner. So I want to set you up with the proper mindset to succeed. I always tell people, you know, three to six months to build a pretty exceptional income, right? But if you go into it thinking like, for instance, you're going to get paid, like if I do the work today, I'm going to get paid two days from now, you're setting yourself up for failure. Now, with that being said, if you're doing YouTube videos, for example, and you're doing like a review on the iPhone X and you're linking to it, you know, you could easily get a sell within a day or two because it, it could it could end up, you know, ranking inside of YouTube and, and you could you could get a sell. But when you actually go and, and you end with that mindset that I do the work and you don't get paid within like a week, you're setting yourself up for failure. You're not you're not focused on building passive income. You're focused on building active income. It happens all the time. There's times that I create content and I literally get paid that day. Like I push it out to my audience and then bam and I get paid. 
but I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on farming that real estate every single day because I know that I put in the work now and it's going to have a compound effect over time and it's going to build up. And then at that point, I don't, I don't have to worry about it. The work I'm putting in today, I'm going to keep getting paid in the future. So you want to think about that mindset when you're building passive income, because most people try to create passive income, but they have the active income mindset. Like they do the work now, they expect to get paid and it never works. Right. And so for me, I'm always playing the long game. I'm always thinking about, man, six months from now, this is going to make me a killing. This is going to make it so that way my, my income increases, my lifestyle gets better. I'm not stressed out. So everything I do is focused on the long term. So that is my suggestion for you. There's there's different business models, but honestly, I don't think there's a better business model um, than, than what I just taught you because it's something that you do the work once and you keep getting paid for it. So with that being said, I talked a little bit about sales funnels and how I put that in place. Um, so what I'm going to do is, is at the end of this video, I'm actually going to link to that so you can watch that video. So it makes a little bit more sense how the process works. Um, but when you combine content marketing and sales funnels, you literally have passive income that comes in every single day. So with that being said, if you didn't hit the subscribe button, make sure to do that. And if you have any questions on anything, comment below um, and I will answer the questions in the comment section. Take care.